Well, today's Purdue football game against Iowa wasn't pretty. Purdue had plenty of chances to take control of the game in the first quarter, but couldn't capitalize despite a 48 yard punt return by TJ Sheffield and an interception and 26 yard return by Dylan Thieneman. Hudson Card was also sacked six times and threw two interceptions. But despite all of that, Purdue somehow had a chance to win it in the final minutes. Let's check it out. It's Purdue's first of three Big Ten road games this month. Iowa's quarterback Cade McNamara is out, but that didn't affect the Hawkeyes too much. First quarter, first and 10 for Iowa. Caleb Johnson rushes up the middle. He uses his legs to go 67 yards for a touchdown. Johnson finished the day with 134 rushing yards. Last year, he put up 200 against the Boilers. Hawkeyes up seven. Later in the first, Purdue on offense. Hudson Card's pass to TJ Sheffield is intercepted. Iowa returns it 41 yards to the five yard line. That leads to a field goal and the Iowa Hawkeyes go up 10-0. Second quarter, Purdue able to get in the end zone. Card with a 43 yard pass to TJ Sheffield. Purdue trails 10-7 at the half. The third quarter was all Hawkeyes. 27 was the score up until three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Devin Mockaby scored a rushing touchdown to make it 2014. Now here the Boilers have a chance to take the lead with one minute to go, but Purdue turns the ball over on downs. The comeback effort falls short and the Hawkeyes defeat Purdue 2014. Next up for the Boilermakers, Ohio State visits Ross Aid Stadium on Saturday.